hello. Seeing a bit of white. Unless, imagine the backgrounds all falsifies all these drawings and markings because it's simulating like... Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Run faster! Why'd you run like a toddler for? Go! What's up everybody? My name is Velux and we are back with something a little bit different, a little bit old school. Backrooms. I think you all remember this is a big thing on my channel. It's what really made my channel take off and I did these Backrooms VHS videos. And it's been a long time since I've even looked in that area. I personally felt like it died off. It wasn't as popular anymore. That's just my perspective and with the way my recommended worked. Especially since moving into the FNAF community a lot more than I already was. It's like it's just been left behind. But I thought we would take a look at it in 2024. Now, as far as I've seen, I, I've, I've pretty much seen nothing of this game except screenshots from the Steam page. It looks photorealistic. This is called Backrooms Rec, um, or REC, which is like, it, it reminds me of the whole unrecorded thing that was going around where this body cam style footage in video games was just really popularized. I'm really excited to see that put into like the style of the backrooms. It's been so long since I've touched anything backroomsy, but I'm excited. So you know what? Let's give this a look. Okay, oh, it's like VHS. Okay, so play Liminal Logic. Oh, this looks good. Come on, guys. Check this out. Okay, so this is an alpha. It is still in development, so I want you guys to all keep that in mind in case there are any bugs or anything like that. It seems like there is a multiplayer... Oh, that sound. It sounds like the... It sounds like... Sorry, I can't get my words out. It seems like there is a multiplayer option, which is really unique, at least from what I've seen. I haven't seen many games include that, that especially of this quality as well. And then you got solo. Wait. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, microphone? The game uses the default input. No. Oh my god, no. We're gonna have to be quiet. Is it gonna be one of those games? Oh, this is this is interesting. Okay. I'm gonna assume this is like nothing to like nothing crazy. Solo exploration, you're just looking around. So I'm gonna go for found footages. Yellow rooms. Oh, so we're gonna see all different types of liminal spaces. Oh, this is oh, beautiful. Let's play. Oh, this is so nostalgic almost. I'm wondering if we're gonna like get monsters or anything in this game, or if it's gonna be just like looking around empty empty spaces. I'm okay with either, but I do hope there's a bit more of something to the game. Because I remember the complex was pretty much just a few little spooks. Oh, here we go. Few little spooks and it was just looking around empty locations. This is actually starting for look at the carpet texture. This looks insane already. I've got this VHS sort of widescreen design. Oh, this feels amazing. The camera sway is beautiful. Look at the texture on the ceiling. It's making me want to make another backrooms video, but the thing is I started a series and I don't know, would you guys be okay if I just started making some backrooms videos randomly and it was just like, look, look, walking around locations again. Could be interesting. Look at the puddles. These are so detailed. So you got these dirty walls. I wish it was the correct wall pattern, but maybe that's uh, another area, or maybe this is their own design. It's dirty. It's It's got the wet floor, which not a lot of them include, which I am so happy that this has that, since that was a thing from the original. Oh my god. Why did he drop the? Why did he drop like that? There was no need. There was no need. You scared the life out of me. Why did you do that? Okay. All right. But this looks and sounds amazing. Now, if I remember correctly, this is using my microphone, so maybe there is entities, and at some point I'm gonna have to just shut up. But at the moment, I'm just shouting. <laughs> Hello. Anyone here? Anyone in the darkness? Hello, hello, spooky, spooky. Spooky, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> okay, I feel like this is where we came through, right? Oh no, because we can't even get through there. Can we zoom in? Uh, through oh, okay, there we go. So you click the right mouse to zoom in and out of something. The left mouse does nothing. We can sprint, can we like shuffle in? Nope. 
Okay, it seems like we're going into darkness. Do we F for flashlight? R for flashlight. E for flashlight. No, we're on our own this time. What's going on around here? I like the art style of the game. It's really, like, almost unique. It's got this chromatic aberration while also having this PlayStation 1, like, camera style. But it also looks photorealistic at the same time. I have no idea how to explain it. That's the best I got, guys. I'm sorry. But let's not go there. It's just dark. It's just darkness everywhere. Hello? It's like the one stupid thing to do and it hear a noise you go, Hello? Is anyone there? This game feels like it does the thing where it's like you have to wait for your eyes to adjust. What on earth? Yo, what, what creature is big enough in here that that's its chair? Got a throne in the back rooms. At least we got somewhere to sleep tonight because I don't think we're making it out. What is this? Okay, we got a door. Is this an exit? Oh, that's a cool mechanism. The way you hold to open the door is nice. Okay, we got something. Draw you draw your fear path. Draw draw your loneliness fear path. Or is that fiend? Fear? Probably fear. Because that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the beans. Oh. I want... Can I take the beans? Can I eat the beans? Can I... Where'd the beans go? Hey, look, whatever monster's in it. What What do I do with the beans? Can I throw the beans at you? So it looks like it's saying the exit is through here. I'm going to take my beans so I can throw it at something if I need to. Me and these beans, we're going places. Yeah, this is starting to look like... Especially look at the, looking at the can... It looks like if you had a PlayStation 1 game with RTX. <laughs> like, it has that visual to it, but then the reflections just really make it look different. I like how the shadows just do not react to the can. <laughs> we can always see the can. What? Um. You, what? What is going on in here? What is... Huh? Okay, I want to explore so much. Wait, wait, wait. I'll come back to this. Wait, no, they all lead the same way. So where do you go? You just go through a normal way. You just... Huh? Hey, look, I told you I have the beans. Mess with me, you get the beans. I'm warning you. Interesting doorway. I'll take it. Oi. Come on then. Take that. I have the beans. Oh, you're not going to be throwing me back my beans. Okay, well, I'm taking your ball. Screw you. Ah, uh, this? It's mine now. I'm armed. How do I crouch control? Okay, wait, hang on. There we go. How dare he take my beans? I got his ball, so I guess we're just exchanging. It's like those videos when they do, like, turn, like, one pound into... I did not throw that. I did not throw that. I didn't click anything. That's luring me or something. No. No. Hey, you may have taken my beans, but you haven't taken these fists. Oh my god, I can't pick it up. Oh no. Hey, look. I'll give you the good old one too, I swear to god. What you're meant to be doing, where you're meant to be going, no objective. I keep pressing C to crouch. <laughs> it's control. Okay, some stairs. So we've made, we found our first set of stairs. Okay, they're gonna go up. This looks like a Gmod map. What? No, there's no way you're gonna make me walk on that. What? Oh, that's so cool! That's actually insane. You got the light on the wall and stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's sickening. Oh, oh, I hate it. I'm assuming if we go this way, it's going to make us, like, fall upright. 
So what happens if we walk on the ceiling? What happens at the hospital? Can we get back? Let's not make any moves that, like, mean that we won't be able to get back to where we want to go. That's where we came from, right? The green room. So we want to go through that door there. Oh, we can't. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, there's a bit there. Okay, so you can't walk off the ledges and stuff either, which makes sense. If you can't jump, you can't do that. Okay, so it's like a puzzle or a maze. Also, they got some subtle ambience that doesn't just sound like sound effects. It sounds like music, and it's really nice. So, well done to whoever composed the, that piece. Because it is really fitting for the backgrounds, this ambience. So it's sort of like, ooh, like it's really good. That's a new doorway, I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah, spooky noises. I know, I know. Um, I'm alright. I don't want to go down there. I've e I've lost my bearings completely. That is the door we were looking at, I swear. So does this make you... No, no, we've not been here yet. Okay. Oh, nice. Random cross on the wall. Yeah, that is. This is quite a cool little room. Maybe we could just, like, reside here. You know, you've got a door around the back and a door here. If we shut them both, we can just, like, peacefully starve to death. Yeah. This is quite nice. I like how it simulates it as if they're, they're windows to the outside world, but it's just not real. It's just not real. There's no outside world, it's just it's just emulating it. Oh! Oh my god, we found like a lift. Nice. Or an elevator, depending on where you're from. Do I just press up or down? I'd like to go I'd like to go home. So this is probably how we get to these next levels. Maybe. And this is how we unlock. So maybe the, the playlist that we went on is, is like chapters. And we're going to be following through a story much like the, the complex. Oh, I think so. Where are we? Pool rooms? I'm seeing a bit of white. What is this? Like level 10 or something? I can't remember. Oh, the, oh, the sound design is beautiful. That was cool. I saw that. This, oh, this is amazing. No, this is actually amazing. It's like that Roblox game we played. They had this like level 10 on there. I remember I actually have a, a, a Backrooms VHS video where, you know, this is one of the levels that I explored. It's like an infinite parking lot or car park. It's just... These are so narrow. These are so close together. You're not getting any call there. Like... Oh, let's go towards the spooky flashing light. Why not? It's like a light from the um, from the back rooms. There's a fluorescent light. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh! We ain't alone. I don't know if I can talk or not, or if it's like a soundboard. Can it hear us? Or is, it, or is it just a spooky jump scare? And we're fine. Oh! You know what? That's quite pretty, actually. Wouldn't be a bad place to die, actually. You know what? Fine. Maybe this is where I came from. I don't like that sound. Okay, there's something here, flickering. Have we finally found something useful? You're where I found before. Now, how do I, like, call you or open you or something? Let me in. Do I just wait outside it? Do I walk into it? Do I press C? Do I press V? Do I press Y? Do I press F? Do I press R? Do I press E? Do I press T? No, nothing. I'm actually going to just look this up. I swear to God, I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. So apparently there's a flashlight or torch or whatever you call it on the floor, which I needed to pick up to open. I'm actually, I actually want to just. Okay, so we're now going to need this from some, from some really spooky level now. It's quite satisfying click, won't lie. 
Okay, we finally figured it out. Great job. Now what? Okay. And we're back here, this time with a torch. So, I like the way the torch moves. That's smart. The, the torch moves before the camera, because normally it's the other way around in a lot of horror games, and they just get that wrong. Because realistically, you'd move the torch before you move the camera. And they've just heightened the sensitivity of that torch. It's really smart. Okay, wait. Here we go. I don't know if it has battery level, but it's not indicating. Oh, it's like pitfalls. Which one do we go down, guys? Which one do we go down? Oh, it is tempting. But I don't know. In reality, you would die falling that far. I don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to be normal. I do want to jump down so bad. I don't know if you can. Oh, you so can. You so can. No, I don't want to risk it. You so can. There's no barrier or nothing. Oh, lovely. Oh, I like how the chair's just, like, randomly loaded in. Ooh, look at this place. Put this on the floor. Something's so in here with me. Um, I thought there was a door. It's just a show. Okay. I thought there was an arrow pointing to it. We have no choice. Oh my god. It's a very bright room. Nice. I have a huge urge to make another Backrooms video. But just like one, just not even connect to the series. I practically cancelled that series for who, whoever was wondering. I may I just left it open ended, so it's like I can return to it if I want. But I don't feel like making such a big video. I'm just not in the mood for it lately. I just like making the small little things and putting it together. I have fun with it. That's what I do. I know a lot of people don't like my style of content where they're all short form. Oh dear, where they're all short form videos. I'll say this before I go. Where they're all short form videos and a lot of them get perceived as being rushed. They're not rushed. I do them because I want to experiment with a variety of different um, sort of styles and different types of um, genres and things like that. And just, I, I expect my videos to be taken as they see it and it inspires other people to make bigger long form content out of it. Because I know there are brilliant creators out there that do the high budget stuff. Or like they just do like really high quality 30 minute long VHS tape. That's not me. That's not the kind of content I'm into. I like just doing the short stuff. I'm happy with that. It's not rushed. I always put, I always put a lot of uh, effort into my work. I have a huge passion for it. Oh, look at this. This is literally like a PlayStation like one or two game. Yeah, I have a huge passion for what I do. It's why I do it, and it's also why I make so much of it, even if it is short form. It's because I can get more out there. And it's not for pumping out content just for you guys. It's for more for me because I enjoy just making a bunch of different things and experimenting rather than working on one massive single project. It's just who I am, I guess. It's just what I do. Okay, enough yapping. Let's have a look what we got here. It really encapsulates like the whole feeling of being lost, not knowing what you're doing. Feeling like you're genuinely just someone chucked into the back rooms with no sense of direction or, or objective or anything. This is quite cool. Why not? Okay. Is the camera okay? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. Oh, this is this is a cutscene. This means we're dealing with something different. I'm not liking this. I've seen the words help. Is this something? I don't know. The floor's different. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay. Is this something? Help me. And they've got like a tally. Probably from how many days they've been here. Unless, imagine the back rooms all falsifies all these drawings and markings because it's simulating like... Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No, no. I've just cornered myself. I've absolutely cornered myself. What the hell is that thing? Why are you walking like that for? Can I get up and just like continue? Or is that it? Dead. Wait, I continued. I picked up- I turned on my- I turned on my flashlight! 
replay. Oh my god, that actually got me, but not in like a huge way. I won't lie. Wow, I think it's because I was kind of anticipating something like that happening. So let's not go in that room, I guess. I am tempted to do so because I want to see it again, but I feel like it's just going to be lurking around and it's going to chase us around at some point. Whoa. That's what happens. Run, run. This is literally like the back of this bit. Weave, 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 weave. weave. I'm not turning around. I'm absolutely not doing that. I just don't want to corner myself. Come on, go wide, go wide. No, 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 no. This is horrible. I hate the. F I hate being chased. I hate this. Just don't stop. Don't stop. Don't you dare stop. You get in there right now. Okay, we're safe. It can't get in here, right? FNAF 2 vents be like. It's gonna be you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you absolute idiot. Use your legs! Run faster! Why'd you run like a toddler for? Go! Oh my man, my man. I'm so done for, I'm so done for. No, 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 no! No! Go away! Leave me alone, I did nothing to you! Jump, jump. Oh, I'm so dead. That would kill anyone. That was tiled floor. Unless it's like in the back rooms, like maybe... No, I know exactly what this is. Why would you do this to me? Oh, I hear that alarm. Why have you brought me here? This is really cool. But why have you brought me here? <laughs> this is the worst place to drop from. Not is it tiled floor. You're gonna get a concussion. Be knocked out in level run for you. Like, how do, do I move? Okay, take your time, man. That was a big fall. I'm surprised you're not you're not dead. Oh god, here we go. I just said about how, how I hated being chased, and here we are. The like the, the worst level to be earned of early access. That is such a good like teaser to end on. You know what you're doing. Um, sorry, I do not know the name of the developer. Apologies, I probably should have, like, looked that up before. Wait, what? I was gonna say, is it letting me play? Damn! That was insane. What a brilliant ending to have. You know, like, one of the most popular levels of the backrooms. The one that so many people say is their favourite. That's amazing. I did that actually with one of my very early backgrounds videos. I, I ended it. I think it was actually my first one, was it? No, no, probably like third, second or third. But there was one that I ended it on level run for your life. I'm pretty sure it was my second video. But yeah. What? What what an experience. What an experience. Well done to the creator. I'm so sorry that I do not know your name, but I'll put the link below. Or I'll at least give credit or something. Oh, that was that was actually so good. It was so nice revisiting the backrooms, like the whole genre and seeing what it's like nowadays. And, and it's definitely improved from the last time I saw it, considering I feel like when I was a part of all this, it was very much so like they had the rec rooms game and I could play it on VR. That's about it. And then they and then they introduced the Roblox one, which we did. But this is obviously a step up and it's a step in the right direction. I've seen the complex. Obviously, I have played that. This was something else including a monster and then teasing level run for your life i wonder if we're going to see like you know the part of the what is it called the pyro's level fun that's what it's called i wonder if we're going to see any of that i mean it seems like they're going off of some fan levels especially with the whole parking lot outside um i i, I would love to see level 94 i think that would be a really interesting one and i know a lot of these levels are quite overdone in other fan games which i've never really looked too far into but you know they pop up on my feed um on youtube my homepage and stuff with people playing that's actually how i discovered this game a lot of the big youtubers like baz ryan dorco started uploading this and i was like okay i gotta check this out so imagine playing multiplayer i, I, I i'm interested to see how detailed maybe the character models are who we're playing as what we look like are we in hazmat suits we can't be because we just fell in so maybe it's just you're just people and i really like that concept anyways guys I'm a bit in shock over this in a good way. Like, this is where the future of the backrooms is going. And if we are getting a film, maybe it'll take off again. Maybe, you know, there'll be big hype around it. And 
it just felt like a wave of nostalgia, even though it's not that old. It's only like, what, 2022 that the backgrounds was big, so that's two years ago. And yeah, it was nice. And it, and it really inspired me to want to make another liminal space exploration video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.